studio work. Either you love it or you hate it. There's no in between. If you're one of those people who love studio shoots and you can't wait to get in the studio and you've bought all kind of equipment and lights and cameras and all of that stuff to function in the studio, I don't really need to say much to you guys because you like it, you enjoy it. But for those of you who have never really been in a studio or are new photographers, it can be a very scary thing if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm thinking, the weather's bad, so it'd be great to shoot inside. Hey, a studio? And Valentine's Day is coming up, so why not do a Valentine's Day shoot in the studio? Now, since my studio closed down, I had to find a new place, so I started asking around, and I ended up asking Sabrina, which is the model that I shot with for the Valentine's Day shoot. Has she shot with any studios in the area lately? And she mentioned a studio in Snellville. I believe the studio was called 1229 Foundation. Called them up. They had great rates. I'm like, let's do it. If you happen to be one of those photographers who don't have a whole lot of experience shooting in a studio, then it might be a good idea for you to reach out to someone or or find someone that you know that has some experience in the studio. Go with them, shadow them, and, and see what it's all about because seeing it really makes a difference. Now, it's quite another story to have all of the equipment that you need to function in the studio. If you go to a big studio, they've got a lot of equipment, but they charge you. A small studio, basically it's BYOB or BYOE. Yeah, BYOE. Bring your own equipment. Now I have to admit, studio work, I was a little rusty. It took me a minute to find all of my equipment and to get it together and see if everything was working. So now we get to the studio, Sabrina goes in the back, she starts doing makeup, getting into her first outfit. I set the lights up, I get everything going, set the video camera up, set the photography camera up, set the lights up. We start shooting. I forgot to hit record. So the first outfit, which was a really nice outfit, it was more business-like. All we really have is pictures. Didn't do any video. It happens. So all we have is just the pictures, which you can probably see. You can see right over there. I got my act together, realized that the recorder was not recording, got it rolling, and we decided to move from that conservative look to a more edgy look.
One of the things that you have to keep in mind is that when you're shooting in a studio, there's not really a lot of things. I mean, you can set up props, you can have a chair, you can do some different things, but you need to have a model that can bring a lot to the table because if not, it's gonna be boring. So now the shots with the jacket was smoking and I didn't really think that it could get any better, but it did. It definitely got better. The second look, I had a red garment with a shiny surface to it.